What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna teach you all about shooting. How to generate power, how to generate accuracy. As you know, the best players in the world are always the strikers, the guys who can score goals. Messi, Holland, Ronaldo, Neymar. So in today's video, we brought you our star striker, 16 years old, nine goals. Rene Baumanis, I'm gonna let him introduce himself and he's gonna take us through how to strike the ball with power and accuracy. My name is Rene, I'm from Latvia, I'm 16 years old and I have played in uh, Meta U16. So we're gonna break it down in an easy step-by-step -step process. We're gonna break down six points for you to properly hit the ball, strike that ball with power and accuracy so you can score more goals for your team, win your team the game and get those three points for the team. All right, brother, so when you're striking the ball, when you're looking to score goals, what are you thinking about? What, what part of the foot are you hitting the ball with? You know, what are the thoughts in your mind when you're looking to score a goal? I'm just targeting what is, isn't the goalie. I'm just shooting the ball. It's just, it's just not, not natural for me. Yeah. I just look at the ball and shoot. What yeah. do I need? Yeah. I don't, it's natural for me. What, so you just naturally developed that ability? Yeah. So you're telling me you're a natural? I would say so. <laughs> So there are a couple ways that you could hit the ball. You got an inside the foot shot, you got a lace shot, and you got an outside the foot shot. So if you're hitting a lace shot, what type of technique are you doing? How, how, are, you, how are you placing your foot? How are you placing your body? And, and what's, your, what's your overall technique? So I go for the ball, go for the laces, and go through it and land on my left, left foot. So for example, like this perfect so obviously the next step is talking about the plant leg so how is your plant leg how is your body positioning when you're coming up to the ball so the plant leg is on the sides and when i strike the ball i just look at the ball so the ball doesn't go like over yeah over yeah. the bar just again like yeah. like uh the same the same one i did yeah Body's over the ball and you land yeah. on the on the plant leg. Yeah. So a very simple drill that you can do is just line up those balls and then practice the technique Renee was working on. So maybe show us some examples of the technique you're working on and then we, we can we can break it down. <laughs> hey, dear. So now That's maybe it. maybe show us a quick set that they can do in practical when you so you line up the balls and then you can roll the ball and strike, yeah? Well over, like this? Yeah. Just to work on the technique. Perfect. So you're actually landing on your strike leg, you know? Yeah? Yeah.
So as you see, as he strikes each ball, he's actually landing on his strike leg. And this is actually how it is for a lot of players. He's been taught at a young age from a very good academy, so it kind of comes natural to him. So maybe it's a little harder to teach. But as I watch him strike the ball, he's, talk he's doing the same exact thing that he was talking about. But I told him as he was doing this, this roll and shoot, he's actually landing on his strike leg. So that's exactly what you want to do when you're shooting. So it's different than driving the ball, passing the ball, or chipping the ball. When you're shooting, when you want to generate maximum power, you're coming through, you're following through, and landing on your strike leg. So as he said, it's, it's natural to him. He's had him roll out the ball, and as he's doing it, body's over the ball, foot is locked, all of his muscles are tight, He's almost pushing his foot towards the top of his boot and then he's striking through the ball. So as you saw, first you work on the technique that we talk about with planted balls and then like we said in the beginning, the ball is obviously always moving during the game and you don't want to stop the ball and, and, and you know generate less momentum. So we worked on a roll to a shoot. So right now we're working as an individual. The ideal situation would be to have a partner on one of the opposite posts, have them play the ball out to you. You take a touch and then place it into the corner of the net. You can do a couple options. You can either do one touch or you can do two touch. Right now, we're giving you a, an example if you're working as an individual. So Renee's just gonna roll that ball and then inside the foot shot into one of the corners. So as we saw, you got very good accuracy. When you're, when you're striking the ball with the inside part of the foot, would you rather open your hips to the other post or would you rather close them off? How do you kind of determine that? So Obviously goalkeeper positioning, but. If the goalkeeper like wants to make a decision, yeah. like don't, don't see where the ball goes. So I prefer to cut, cut the ball because yeah. if you open the hip, yeah. you always want to shoot to the far post. Yeah. But if you fake him a yeah. little bit, so it's harder for him to make save a shot. Perfect. So when you're hitting an inside the foot shot, you know, we talk about posture, we talk about where you want to hit the ball. So how's your body posture? How's your plant leg? Uh, and where are you hitting the ball with the inside when you're hitting that inside the foot shot? If I want to curve, then I probably like go a little bit around the ball so it doesn't strike like in the middle. Yeah. So if I want to shoot like down the middle, I go like this. But if I want to curve it a little bit, so I just plant it a little diagonal, mm -hmm. diagonally. Mm -hmm. So this diagonal, so you yeah. see it's curved a little bit. Yeah. If it's down the middle, mm -hmm. Yeah. It curves a little bit too, yeah. but it's more like middle placement. Yeah. So the, if you want to make it around the goalkeeper, I prefer the curve, the curve shot. Yeah, For sure. And and how how's your body posture when you're when you're shooting the ball? You, I see you, you like to lift your arm sometimes, you know, for for balance. Yeah, I think that's natural as well. So I just don't think about it. I just think about the ball and my foot where it goes, and I went where where, where do I want to shoot the ball? Yeah. Yeah. And, and wh where did you where did you learn your finishing ability? Like, can you can you credit that to any specific, you know, techniques you learned? Any specific coach, specific academy? How did you learn? How did you develop the ability to, to, to score goals? I think I would say thanks to my father. So when I was younger, he just standed in the goal, and he told me where to shoot, how to shoot as well. So he he knows something about football as well. Was he a footballer as well? No, but no. he knows about really? a lot about How? it. Yeah. He just studied it a lot? I don't think he studied it, he just watched the football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, one thing that I see about your parents that I that I respect is they come to every one of your games, yeah? Yeah, they're really supportive. That's so awesome. I like, like about them. Yeah, that's awesome about them. 
So when you were learning these techniques, the, the lace shot and the inside the foot shot, were you taught specifically where to hit the ball, the part of the ball to hit, or did you almost just figure that out yourself by watching other pros, watching other players? I figured that out myself, but uh, when I see uh, maybe on social media or something, if you see this, yeah, the what's it called? Uh, where you pump up the ball, where you pump up the ball, so you place it on down the middle and you can you know where to what technique you want. If you want the curve, then like this. If you want to chip, then you go like under the ball. Yeah. If you want to knuckle, like Max yeah. <laughs> showed the tutorial, yeah. you put it down the middle yeah. and just follow it through. And that's if you want to try through well. Yeah. Like outside the foot, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So another major point of the video, as you saw, he talked about, you know, he credits his father with a lot of his finishing ability. I think all of it is about just reps. You know, when you're a younger kid, really just loving the game, getting out with a ball, just getting, you know, five to 10 balls. Yeah, you might think it's expensive, but it's an investment in your future and your career. Buy yourself some balls. If you don't have supportive parents, which, you know, it's hard to find nowadays, you take accountability for yourself and your development. You work, you buy the balls, and then you get to work. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put all the tips that Renee gave us into practice. So I'm gonna play the ball out from one of the posts. He's gonna take a touch or he's gonna take one touch and then place it in to one of the corners. Like he said in the beginning, a lot of this stuff comes natural to him, but all of it is about practicing the technique, especially if you're a beginner, you take the tips that he gave you, you go to a wall or you just go to a goal, you practice on the technique, exactly where to hit the ball, exactly how to position your body, exactly how to position the plant leg. And then once you get that down, it becomes natural because one of the main problems is if you get too in depth into the theoretical stuff and the theoretical model, you overthink things. And I notice that a lot with a lot of footballers. They say, I don't have confidence. I play well in trainings, but I don't play well in games. And I think a lot of that comes down to the overthinking. So trying to find that natural way is your goal. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Renee, thanks for the time, brother. Really no appreciate problem. it. No problem. Any advice that you have for, for young strikers? Just do the repetitions like all day, every day. So just train a lot and don't stop dreaming. Love that. What are some of your fav favorite drills to work on as a striker? If you were by yourself, you know, you had a bag of balls, what, what drills are you doing? I'm always trying to do outside the 16s. So that's my negative aspect of the football so I'm just going on the movement just rolling the ball and shooting yeah that's it so very simple yeah don't overthink it appreciate it man tell them to like Rick Fitz video subscribe <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe Rick Fit. yeah appreciate you guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you smash that like button hit that subscribe we'll put our boy Renee's Instagram below if we got any tings who are interested in an up and coming prodigy, you can hit him up. Any agents, this guy's going big places. Thank you. No Ricky problem. and Renee out. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click one of these two videos right here to stay up to date with the best football development channel here on YouTube. And most importantly, don't forget to drink your sparkling water. Deuces.